yo, 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 guys, welcome to another episode of Things They Happen. Yes, Things They Happen. And it's always your boy, that with the GH, that boy from Somalia, the only mango city in the whole of the country. Yes, the only mango city. We supply Ghana with mango and other tourist sites in the whole country. Yes, um, I am also your only, only Krobo Encyclopedia. Yes, sir. On this episode, what are we talking about? This country, eh? Sometimes I don't know what we have to do as a country. Maybe we have to organize um, prayer and fasting, like hundred days. Why am I saying this? Four days ago, there has been a daylight robbery at Jamestown. Bullion van. People talked about bullion van, bullion van, bullion van, bullion van. That the things we are using in the country are not bullion vans, but are buckets. Then, um, 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 IGP came out and what he said will blow your mind off. Like, even me, 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 when he asked me to say that, I will find it difficult to say that. But IGP was able to say such things. But, yesterday, yesterday, just yesterday, on the Kaswa Winiba Road, there has been another broad daylight robbery. Guys, you see what we are talking about? I don't know. We are not serious as a country. We are not serious as a country. Measures have to be put in place so that these things, but wait, sorry, I know I can't be open. Wait, sorry, I know I can't be open. Wait, sorry, I know I can't be open. Then, as I said, no, at the other, things should happen before measures will be taken. And now, I was watching and saw that the police people went to the deceased, deceased, um, deceased police. Um, house and then they were consoling the parents. It, it's, you see, we could have prevented this when we are using good bullion vans, correct ones, those that are meant to be bullion vans. But we are we are we are living unconcerned as a country, unconcerned citizens. Who are who who yes we are into office you ask us to be citizens and no spectators. So yes, we are citizens, no spectators. And do how your person your cause fix the country, we sit there be we shouldn't go. Things are happening. You see, we don't know what will happen next. Though. Today it is Bullion Van. Who knows what is going to happen next? Police visibility. Police visibility. Like, she said, you won't understand. Every day, only paper. Paper. Uber here, say, police visibility has been increased by 40%. And, but we are not seeing it. We are not seeing it. Because if there is proper police visibility, we would have, we would have this, this incident, you know, like there will be police, maybe they know, the armed robbers will know, say, if they are free, how could you handle police over? This situation is very, it's getting out of hands, guys. It's getting out of hands. Because according to the story, join news, okay, they aimed at the driver. Like they were shooting from the side. So they aimed at the driver, God being so good, a little split second delay caused the bullet to just bypass them and then they spit off. Imagine these people too were killed. Hey, another issue. And a gun now. Just look, look, look at how, 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 how the gun, like just look at the distance between where the gun hit and where the people are sitting. How are we serious as a country? Charlie, guys, we have to focus on building this nation than building our pockets. We have to, she said, Uber dreams are on TSA. And then, Ebeba, Ebeba can't get the giddy giddy. A good, a tough for man, and no one on. Assembling a tough for man, and no one on. And then, Assembly, see, did the giddy, and then, and then, and then, but Assembly a tough for man, and no one on. How can we bring this to ourselves as a, as a nation? Whilst we have leaders, we have people in, in place to put. Measures to protect us as citizens, and they themselves are also citizens. So I don't know why why they are doing that. Fine, maybe and come on, come on, and they don't say do we are saying yes. So on this episode, I'm reporting to you that there have been another robbery case, daylight robbery. Biomo and anyway, the thieves are getting comfortable during the day, and we have to be worried about that. Daylight robbery. We are going to talk about another issue that happened. And then, and not the Otsia to say, to Obiba say, to bust your mind. To bust your mind. So, 
this country has gotten to the point that you are here, the basic enye de enye. You are here, the basic enye. Why am I saying this? Someone just killed a friend. And just a killing, no, or the woman that you children in home. He killed his friend because of five city debt. Or then he can also on your on your scaling man. Or to you two, no, ta 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 ta. While shooting in Twitter, I'm going to do what's with the number five Ghana cities. When the system is not working, these are the things that will be happening. When the system is not working, these are the things that will be happening. This is sad. This is very sad. Very sad. So on this, I, I'm, I'm about reading the, the, what really happened in the news. That, like, Joy News um, presented that news. So I'll be reading it to you and you'll get to know what actually transpired between the two of them. That he has to kill a friend because of five Ghana City. Five Ghana City. Five Ghana City. Okay. The country we are living in now. We are not safe. We are not safe. No one is safe. No one is safe in a country right now. Really be honest A middle aged man has been shot dead by his friend at a Kriapim appeared in the eastern region following a confrontation over a five Ghana cities debt. He owes it. Five Ghana cities. Five Ghana cities. The deceased, whose name was given as Ben, a drinking spot operator, was shot twice on his chest by Kwame Dangwa, a 50-year-old hunter who had confronted him to pay his debt. Ben was reported to have refused to pay his creditor a situation to pay his creditor a situation which angered Kwame, who pulled a locally manufactured gun and shot him. Residents of the town said Kwabla Ofori told Joy News the deceased was pronounced dead on arrival at the Tetekwashi Memorial Hospital in Ekwapem Mampo. And listen, listen, see, Kwame Dankwa when this was actually happened, Kwame Dankwa went to Ben who was operating a drinking spot to collect the five city he claimed the man who owed him but when he approached him he also failed to pay the money so it turned into a fight and Kwame Dankwa shot him twice twice when he was sent to Mampon he was reported dead he explained meanwhile the suspect has fled to an unknown location when residents attempted to apprehend him. So this is the country we are living in. This is the country we are living in. The system near porous. Because if that system is working, Nipano Enya, when he made, made up his mind to move, you know, people could call and then at barriers, they will arrest this guy even before he gets to where he's going. But what could you say you be who know? Say you who know it is in the pipeline, it is in the pipeline. Sir na afe. Aso. Uberheno, na afi aso. That is the country we are living in. Guys, if today is your first time watching us, this is what we do. We bring trends and issues that are happening. That's why we say things are happening. So as the things are happening, we are presenting them to you as they happen. In sometimes a comic way. So if if you are not part of this family yet, it will be a great pleasure if you guys subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button there and also clicking the notification bell so that anytime we drop a video you get a notification and you know what is happening because in this country indeed things are happening and I'm always your boy Dangote GH that boy from Sumatra